This is going to be us setting up our uh, greeting card format in Illustrator for the Halloween card that we're doing. So I'm going to set up a new document. I'm just going to go File, New. And well, that's going to open up my window. And what I'm looking for is depending on um, if, your, if your greeting card is going to be oriented like this, up and down, that, and then it opens up like that, like a traditional greeting card, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set it up kind of counterintuitively. You're going to choose a horizontal orientation. If your greeting card is going to open in this format where it's wider and then it opens up like this, if you can see me, my, my preview, then you're going to want to set it up as a vertical. So I'm going to do them both, but I'm going to start off with the traditional horizontal side. And so what I'm going to do is in Illustrator, we have the, the ability to number one, set up our um, document eight and a half by 11. We can also have more than one artboard. And what that is, is that's the equivalent of having uh, more multiple pages in a document. Everything that we've done so far in Illustrator has only been one document, you know, one page, and then we're, we're done. Here, we're actually gonna have two artboards. So I'm gonna say two. And we do need to set up a margin, and we will do that in there, but uh, we've got um, bleeds, which we're not, because we wouldn't be able to bleed uh, if we were in class. So we're gonna let that go uh, as having zero bleed. And the color mode right now is CMYK color because uh, we are going to be printing these. Technically, if you're going to print it at home, etc. And then, um, so I'm going to, that should be enough. And I'm going to say create. And we got the beach ball. And it's going to pop up here. There we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is you can see my screen has got a lot of stuff all over it, right? Because I've had a lot of things open. So I'm going to go window workspace and I'm going to reset my essentials and that's fine. So now it's all cleared up. I know where to get my tools. I know where to get all that stuff. The other thing that I'm going to do is remember the other day I showed you rulers and I showed you how to create guidelines. So this page right here is going to be the outside of our card. And this page is going to be the inside of our card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to view. Oh, I'm sorry, view. And I'm going to show my rulers. Show rulers. I'm going to grab a screenshot of that so that I can put that in the, in the uh, notes. So I'm going to show my rulers and remember that my rulers are where I get my guidelines from. Okay. So what you do is you click in the ruler and you can come over and do that. So one of the things that I want to open is I want to open up my info palette. Okay. So that was window and I'll go ahead and close it. Window info. And I'll grab a screenshot for you. And basically what that does is if you look, this is changing. It's giving me my X and Y coordinates. <clears throat> now the other day we all together did a little bit of math and figured out what half of 11 was. And if you guys remember, we said it was like five and then uh, half of one inch, which was like half an inch. So then I added the five and then the half inch and we got five and a half, right? So that would be the fold point of our line of our card. So by clicking into the ruler, I can now drag over a guideline. I'm clicking and dragging. And if you look um, up at the top, uh, I'm going to put my cursor up here. You can see that um, I can go two. That's obviously three, four, five. And then halfway between five and six would be five and a half. And so that gives me my, my line right there. And actually, it's a little off. So I'm going to undo that and I'm going to come back here and I'm going to grab, move it to five and a half. Does it matter which two sides we do? Like we do the front and the back of the card or do you have to do the front and inside? Um, that's a good question. So the question is, do we have to do the front and the inside or whatever? Uh, because we are, um, that's not five and a half. Uh, because we're doing because this we're setting it up, formatting it to be printed, we actually do need to set it up so that 
we have like the full inside and the full outside because you would run one piece of paper through and then you would fold it and then you'd have your card, whether it's horizontal or vertical. Uh, no, we're not doing four. I'll, I'll show you. Don't, don't worry. This will make sense in just a minute. So, because even though we've got, um, hold on for one second. Sorry, uh, there's, anyways, I know that it's confusing. I know that we have two pages, but really what you need to imagine is this is going to eventually be one piece of paper, that this is the front of the paper on this side, and this is the back of the paper on this side. So um, I'm going to set it up the same way over here. <clears throat> I'm going to just put my dividing line in there. Now, the, the thing that is that is uh, going to be kind of unusual is, um, oops, sorry, thing that's going to be kind of unusual is the ruler continues on. And I want to draw your attention to this corner right here, the top corner where the ruler is. Up in the top corner is like this kind of plus. And you can grab that plus sign and you can change and drag your ruler so that the zero, zero point is right here on this page. And so now this is zero. And that means if you look at the ruler, you can see that it says zero. I know that it's hard to read on your Chromebook, but trust me, that circular shape up there is a zero. Um, so I can click and hold in the ruler and drag over to five and a half on this side as well. And now I've got it basically split up in half. Another way to do it would be to draw a rectangle that was five and a half inches. And if you look, <clears throat> I'm going to do this so you can see it a little clearer. I want you to look at my navigator, okay? And it's telling me the width and the height. So for example, when I draw a rectangle, it, right now it's zero, zero when I grab my rectangle tool. But when I start drawing, do you see those numbers changing? It's telling me the width and the height. So if I go to five and a half by eight and a half, um, then I would know that's the front of the card. So anyways, and the other option is when I'm drawing a rectangle or any shape, I can merely grab the tool and click down, not click and drag, but literally you'll hear this, click down. And when I click down, I can actually put in the value. So I can tell it to be 5.5 by 8.5 and then I can say okay and it automatically draws at the perfect size. Now um, I don't have a, uh, well, maybe I do, or did I do that in Photoshop? I think I did it in Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is I don't really have a Halloween graphic so I'm just going to do type and what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in, oh wait a minute, how about this? Open recent files. Did I save that? Beetle. Oh, I did it in another document. Okay, so I'm just going to type this in. And yeah, hey, uh, we'll do something cheesy. So, you know, I kind of liked, kind of like that. That was nice. So there's my happy Halloween, right? And uh, I'll do a, do a quick pumpkin or something, or bat, I'll do a quick bat. Of course, my bats don't look like bats. They look like Batman's logo on his chest, right? So there you go. So that is the front of my card. And what I'm going to do, I'll go object, live paint, make. And I'll say OK. And then I'm going to grab my live paint tool, which is underneath my live paint bucket, which is underneath my eyedropper. And I'm going to go to swatches. See, these styles work together. And then I fill that in. Okay, so I've got my happy Halloween. So that's the front of the card. Now, the back side right here, 
is where I might, and you can leave it blank, but if you want it to look like a real card, you probably should have something like, um, you know, a name back here. And I'm going to set that to be something simple. And maybe, let me see if I have something here. I can put in a little symbol down here. So if you can imagine, this would be the back of my card, right? That would be the front of my card. Now over here, the important thing to remember is if your card is like this and it opens up, right? Imagine this side, this side right here is an open piece of paper. So if this is a folded piece of paper and this is open, forget about what's going on over here. Now we've opened the card, okay? So now you're holding it. Your thumb is here, your hand is here, and uh, you know your thumb is over here, and your hand is here, and you're like holding it. So uh, if you're doing that, is the message going to be on this side? Is it going to be on side one, or is it going to be on side two? What do you guys think? Right, it's going to be on side two, because that's going to be the side that you look at first. So this is where you would say, um, you know, hope it's beautiful for you. I'd be doing this in type, but I don't want to waste your time with type. So that's where the message would be. And then that's it. Usually this side is going to be blank over here. This is where the message is. So now do you guys understand where this would be like one piece of paper you would run it through the printer on this side first then you'd grab the piece of paper you'd flip it over you'd run it through this side and then it would be a two-sided card so and yes Sid, it is different from a book normally this would be if, if 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 this is the cover this would be if this is page one this would be two and three but generally the trope of the greeting card business is to have it this way okay so that's the way to do it in a traditional, you know, vertically oriented uh, format. Are there any questions on this vertically oriented format? Okay, so now I'm just gonna quickly set up for you a horizontally oriented format. So I'm gonna go file new. And this time I'm going to pick a vertical format card. I know it's counterintuitive, but you'll see why. Same thing, two artboards, et cetera, et cetera. So now I'm gonna go view, turn on my rulers. View, come on, view, rulers, show. And I'm going to this time, instead of dragging over this way, and remember, this is my first rodeo. I've seen students do this. We don't wanna fold the card this way. Now we have to fold it at five and a half this way. So I'm gonna drag down a guideline, click and drag to five and a half. And I'm gonna do that. It actually does it on both of the cards, so I'm good to go. So now that means here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this and make our lives easier. So now in this case, this is going to be the front. This is going to be the inside. I know you can't really read that, it's okay. And this is the back. So I'm gonna delete, I'm gonna move and delete all that. So my design is now gonna look something like this. Well, let's, uh, oops, let's mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna create outlines, I'm gonna rotate it.
Okay, so there's the front of my card. Okay, now by the way, we did not set up margins, but you guys should know that you should never do this. And you guys see what I mean? Because you shouldn't have things going right to the edge of the paper. Don't ever do that. Either things are going to go off the edge like that, or they're going to be inboard. They're not going to go too close to the edge. So that's the front of the card. Happy Halloween. And then again, I'm just going to copy this so that we make our lives easier. And now I'm going to put this on the back. Does that look right to you guys? Is that, do you think that's going to be right? And why isn't it going to be right? It's going, Anybody? To be <clears throat> it's going to be upside down. Yes, it's going to be upside down. Therein lies the problem. So I'm going to grab it. I'm going to grab my rotate tool, which is right here. I'm going to hold down the shift key because the shift key constrains it to 45 degree increments. So boom, 45, 90, whatever 90 plus uh, another 45 is, and then 180. So now it's right side up. Now I can and should draw a guideline this way. And what is half of eight and a half? Four and one fourth. Yep, four and a quarter, and that's right here. And by the way, um, I, I'm kind of sorry. I, I don't know if um, we haven't really talked about reading a ruler, but like the more you zoom in, it gives you like those, um, the the measurements like three three and a quarter three and a half three whatever the further out you are it just it's like one inch two inch you know that the halfway point would be one half halfway between a half would be a quarter and halfway between it uh the quarter would be an eighth and we'll do a whole exercise on reading rulers so anyways so that's correct and then when we come over here um This is where your message should be, if that makes sense. Because this would be the blank area up here. So, and now with this complete, what we would do is obviously we would save it as an Illustrator file. So, you know, whatever, uh, Troxel, Halloween card, dot AI for Adobe Illustrator. <clears throat> and then we would um, file save as Troxel Halloween card dot PDF. And that's what you would be copying up to me like that. So this is if your if your front is vertical, this is if your front is horizontal. So does that make sense to everybody? Excellent. So uh, let's yeah we we are going to have time to work on these today because I do need remember that we've got they're due on Tuesday, so um, you know we need we need to have them. So mm -hmm. what we're going to do is I'm going to stop recording.